What's going on guys, Aldrin Astacio here with flightpath.com. Now in this video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about the return to home feature, which is basically this button right here on the very top on the remote control, as well as in the app. And when you press it, basically what it's supposed to do is return to the place that you initially set as your home point. But there's also a couple of features in the app called update your home point, as well as there's a really cool feature that they introduced on the new Mavic Mini, which is find my drone. So in this video, let's talk a little bit more about the return to home and find my drone feature. And if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Aldrin Astacio. I do a lot of drone tech tips, tutorials, and product reviews right here on this channel. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and also hitting that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Now return to home is a pretty straightforward feature. Basically what it is, it'll mark the point when you take off. And then ideally when you press return to home, it'll then return to that exact spot or at least something close by. Let's do a few tests just to see how accurate it is, see if it works and see exactly what it does inside the app as well as what the drone is seeing. Now one of the things with return to home that you're gonna want to set is you wanna set the return to home altitude. Now I'm actually here at a park and the only thing that's really tall is a basketball court here and about a tree over here that's I'd probably say about 30 feet tall. So in the app, what you wanna do first is touch on the top left where it says takeoff permitted or where the text is, click on that. And then in there, it'll say auto return to home and there's an altitude in there. What you wanna do, like I mentioned, is look around to see exactly what is the highest point because when you hit return to home, the menu will then go up to that specific height and then start working its way back. To do the return to home, you really don't need to go that far. You just need to take it off go a little bit distance and work its way back. So let's just do a few passes just to see exactly how accurate it is. And uh, let's go, stick it up in the air. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So in the app, as you heard, it said return to home set. So you always wanna make sure you hear that first. If you don't hear that or see that on your screen, then the home point was not set. So you always wanna make sure you hear that before you actually take off. So let's just take it down, probably about hundred feet out and then hit return to home and see how it does. So I'm about 135 feet away, nothing major, but you don't really need to go far just to do these tests. So let's hit return to home. And once I press return to home, I'll, for the first one, I'll just do it on the remote, press and hold it. It is returning back to home. It went up to the altitude that I set at. As you can see here, it's set at 73 feet. So it is working its way back and here it is right above me now. All right, so in the app, it does say current area unsuitable for auto landing land aircraft manually. Not a problem, just go ahead and push that straight down. Not sure why exactly, I mean, I'm in pretty open area, but as far as location wise, it did bring it back to the general area, which I'm okay with. Um, I don't know why it just didn't land on its own. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward basketball court here, but let's try it, let's do it again. Take it out, different area, a little different angle, see if it changes. So it is coming back down right now. Let's see how accurate this one gets and see if it does land. All right, so once again, the current area, unsuitable for auto landing, land aircraft manually, getting that, Getting that message there again. Now let's land it manually. I'm not sure if there's a contrast issue where it's taking off from. Maybe what I'm gonna do now is move it over to the green area and see if there's any difference there. All right, 160 feet away again, 30 feet up. Still going down, still going down. Uh-oh, this one might land. No. All right, current area unsuitable for auto landing land aircraft. Not sure why. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. The idea is really just to get it to the area or get it back. The fact that it's not actually landing, not that big of a deal. I'm sure people will comment and say, oh my gosh, it should, it should automatically land. But the idea is really just to bring it back home and you're gonna always normally want to take over manually. Even when it's up in the air, the idea is really just to be able to get it close to you, see it, hear it, and then pilot it back in. Uh, so I'm not too worried about it, but I, I guarantee you, you guys will. Just at least it comes back home is the big deal. And then you can normally pilot it. Like I said, I normally will pilot it when it's back in the area or when you start hearing it, I will normally take control. You can exit out of the return to home and then manually just pilot it back. And that's what normally what I would recommend doing. There's a feature called update home point. Now what I'm gonna do here is take off at one point, I'll probably take off somewhere right here. And then I'm gonna walk over to there and update that home point. Now, the reason why you might wanna do that is that say if you were to take off from this point here and walk down all the way over there while you're flying your drone and you hit return to home, that, that drone will then come back to this point right here unless you update the home point. So what I'll do is I'll just do a close proximity one, but the concept is there. You can actually redo your home point wherever you're at. All right, so here we go, let's take off and listen for the home point to be updated. The home point has been 
updated. All right. Please check it on the map. So as you can hear, Home Point has been updated. What I'm gonna do now is fly it out there again. And then while it's out there, I'm gonna update the Home Point to where I am now gonna stand. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the middle of the basketball court and see if it'll update from there. Let's do an update from here. Update home point. This is kind of cool. You can actually zoom in and see how it actually show, see how it shows you where you are. That's actually that's a, that's really showing me the court. That's cool. So why don't we put it right in the middle of the court? Because that's where I'm at. Update it there. Home point has been updated. Okay. Please check it on the map. And let's hit return to home. Go home. Here it comes. Coming down. There you go. Well, it came back to me, which is good. Perfect. That works for me. Now, as far as 100% accurate, of course, I probably would want to give it a little bit more distance, but the fact that I took off from way over there, redid it, and changed my home point right over there, and it got really close to me, I'd probably say, you know, a few feet off. If you wanted to change location, you can then change your home point in the app itself so that if you ever did have to go return to home, it would then map you exactly where you are. Now, one of the coolest features in the Mavic Mini, which I saw in the app, is find my drone. So if you're out there flying and something like that, you're in a canyon or anywhere that might be some brush or, you know, high tree line, and if you were to somehow lose your drone, there's a little function there called find my drone. And what it does is that you press a button and it starts making noise and turns on the light. Of course, just as a simulation, what I'm gonna do is just fly it all the way down there and try to ideally land it just by line of sight here. And then I'm gonna turn it on in the app and then we'll walk over there to see exactly what type of noise it's making. All right, let's just do a little flight simulation. Pretend like I lost it way down there and then let's go look for it. All right, so I just landed it as a simulation as though I were to crash it. Uh, now what I wanna do is go into the app and I'm gonna go into safety. And there's right here called find my drone, hit that. And right now it says start flashing and beeping. So what I'm gonna do is trigger that. So as far as distance goes, that took off right over here. Now ideally if you were flying it, you should have some sort of line of sight to at least know if it did crash where it crashed and I am pretty still far away. It's way over there on the sidewalk, but I can actually hear it from here. So let's work our way over there now. All right, so here it is. You can hear the beeping noise that it's making as well as it's red light right there. So once you get to your location and you do find it, hopefully that's the idea, hit stop, and there you go. Of course, we're just doing a simulation. If you were to lose it, you know, it's not gonna be that easy, but at the same time, the function is in there, which is a really cool function. I don't believe they have that on the Go4 app with the other drones, so nice little feature that they added for the DJI Mavic Mini, a little find my drone. And there it is guys, that was the return to home feature as well as the update your home point and also the really cool one, the find my drone feature in the new DJI Mavic Mini. As always, if you guys got some value from my video, don't forget to hit that like button and always don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Aldrin Anastasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.